Meantime, the president has urged the Nigerian armed forces to tackle the country's security issues with unparalleled military strength, ensuring that soldiers are never subjected to this state or derision. This appeal was made during the joint passing operation for the 71 regular course, Direct Short Service Course 28 Army and Direct Short Service Course 32 at the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA, in Kaduna. Addressing the graduation or graduating student, the largest cohort in over six decades of the academy's history, the president represented by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, emphasized the critical nature of security and reaffirmed his steadfast support for the armed forces in their efforts to combat threats to peace and security facing the nation. But as a country, we have been faced with multiple challenges that have attempted to destroy our nationhood. The economic challenges and deterioration in the standard of living, as well as unemployment and insecurity, top the list of problems that besieges our nation. However, more than ever before, my administration is determined to do all it takes to ensure Nigeria is united, secure, <coughs> and repositioned for development. Our government is always ready to provide the facilities needed to achieve optimal training. I also charge members of our armed forces to remain focused in their operations. Let us remember that the elite militaries remain professional in democratic dispensations with the belief that the individuals charged with the nation's leadership will do their job. We are the giant of Africa, our women's remain so. The president also advocated a thorough policy aimed at assisting the families of soldiers who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service, emphasizing the need to tackle the nation's urgent economic issues. I therefore emphasize strongly that the NTA team, under any case, must never undermine the training of candidates for effective military purposes. This is because training in its essence prepares the soldier's heart, mind and body for military professionalism. Our soldiers and officers must never be exposed to the scam or ridicule of criminal elements because of fear or weak fighting power and spirits. These criminals have tested our soldiers enough, and I'm saying here, enough is enough. While I strongly commend the efforts of our armed forces in dealing with these misprints, I charge all of you to engage these cowards with no military gallantry and sophistication. Therefore, let me explicitly state here today that no stone should be left unturned in the training of cadets in the academy. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.